out with sketching out the area of where I want to do my stitches. This is just kind of like a rough draft. Nothing is final, um, but for the most part, I kind of sticked with um, the shape, the final shape that I drew out. Next, I'm gonna go in with my Mayron Paradise paint. Um, this is the green shade, and I'm just gonna apply it pretty much around all the white areas on, on my shoulders, my chest, um, pretty much anything that was in frame. I didn't obviously do my whole body, I just did whatever was in frame of the camera. So I'll pretty much like one fourth of my arms down, my ears as well. Then I'm gonna go in with the white, the same thing, the paradise paint, and use this just to highlight and create some um, ribbed areas on my chest. And I'm just going to go back and forth between the brush that I used um, to apply the green and just kind of blend it out. It really helps make it be very seamless. Sorry if you see Nia's little tip of her head in the background. She was all in the business. in with some third degree which um, this batch that I mix, mixed up I kind of should have mixed it up in like a little medicine cup like I usually do but I mix it up like on a little uh, palette tray which I don't know I don't know why I did that because it just never comes out as smooth as I want it but I just applied it this didn't need to look perfect so I just used it <laughs> you guys see me yelling at me I'm sorry she was like hopping all over my workspace um, but yes yeah, so I'm just gonna go in and apply that over the area of where I wanted my stitches um, the ones on my chest I did them kind of really rough and then the one on my face the two on my face I kind of made it a lot neater um, really that's just because of this batch of third degree that I put together so yeah I learned my lesson not to do that again it works for some people but I guess didn't work too great for me with that same green paint and as you guys can tell like once it dries down this green paint it just blends right into the green paint that I already have it's like not patchy so yeah I just love this stuff this stuff is really really bomb I wish that I didn't wait so long to use it but I am going to be using it for another upcoming look pretty soon I'm gonna go in with my uh, grease paints from the Makeup Forever Flash palette and I just use that to apply into the cuts that I created or stitches that I'm gonna be creating um, just to give it a little depth and I'm just going over pretty much in the middle of that um, third degree that I split.
going in with some detailing. T detailing, I'm going to go in with some kind of black um, liner and just kind of um, give it a little bit of dimension um, all around. There you go. You can see me deepening it there and I'm just going in with kind of a fluffy blush to blend out underneath and on the sides of my stitches just to give it a little bit more dimension. And then also I go underneath my ribs. Now to the very tedious part which is applying these stitches. I just use some um, yarn that I had like some bread yarn that are like kind of like a dark bread yarn that I had. You can use whatever you have. If you have like uh, twine or leather, pieces of leather, shoelace, whatever you got. I just used um, this yarn because it was what I had and I did not feel like going to buy anything else. And this part was very tedious but it was like one of those details like you could not leave out. which slip I used I think oh I used season 10 from Colourpop and I'm sorry but the tail end of the video ended up being kind of blurry so I'm sorry about that ahead of time guys but the pictures came out bomb in the end so definitely you know keep on watching um, I posted a really good picture at the end um, and I just clean up the edges of my lip with some more of that green uh, water based paint bolts that I made you using aluminum oil and I just kind of shaped it to how I want it and I just you know use that to make the bolts and I'm just going to apply it with some cotton and some liquid latex I was just gonna stick these on with some skin adhesive but I actually kind of wanted it to I wanted to I wanted to make it look like it was actually coming out of my neck so that's what I did. Um, this part took a little bit of time because I kind of had to hold it there for it to dry but um, I really really liked how this came out. Um, it was just kind of like one of those things that just took the look up a notch I feel like because I feel like if I would have just stuck it there it would have kind of been like kind of like everyone else's but I feel like adding this little edge to it made it a little bit different so that's what I did and applied it to the edges and then I went over the area and painted it green um, just so that it blended in with the rest of my body and this came out so great. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram so you guys can see detailed up close pictures of this look. Next I just go in with the white water based paint and I just uh, brush my hair on the side. I knew I was washing my hair this day so I just used some water based paint um, because it was going to come right out. So um, I used that and I just pulled my hair up um, into like a look, you know, the little hairstyle as good as I can do since I don't have straight hair. You know, this is the natural hair version. And this is the completed look, guys. I love this look. I had so much fun creating it. Um, make sure you guys check out some more of my special FX videos, which I will have them linked on the screen and down in the description box. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.